Hello. We're going to talk today about transmission speeds, which actually sounds confusing, but is actually really straightforward. One of the key bits of information we need to understand this is that one byte is the equivalent to eight bits. So if you've got two bytes, you've got 16 bits. If you've got three bytes, you've got 24 bits. Now, what does this mean in practice? Well, it means in practice that when you're looking at your megabytes per second, or megabits per second, I beg your pardon, that all you actually need to do is divide that number by eight to work out how many megabytes you're going to be transferring. So let's say, for instance, that I have a speed here of eight megabits per, session, per um, second, and I want to move, so that's going to move one megabyte per second. So let's move one megabyte, and you'll see that it's in fact one second. Okay, well let's try that a different way. Let's say I've got a transfer of 80 megabits per second, and I'm moving 80 megabytes. Well, once again, if we divide that by eight, then we've got 10 mega, um, to we're moving 10 megabytes. And since I've got 80 of them in total, that's going to take 8 seconds. Now, sometimes there's a little bit of confusion. You might be measuring in gigabytes up here and megabytes down there. So, for instance, I've got, let's say I've got a 64 megabit connection. And I'm moving an 8 gigabyte, uh, 2 gigabyte file. Well, in actual fact, I am moving, let's divide that by 8. I think 8 8 to 64. Yep, they are. So I'm moving 8 megabits per second or megabytes per second. So even I'm getting confused. 8 of them per second. So I just need to divide 2000 by 8. And 2000 divided by 8 would give me the answer that I'm looking for. In fact, let's just jump in here and just check. 2000 uh, divided by 8 is in fact 250. We go back here and see that it is, in fact, that's 240 seconds plus another 10. So we can do it that way. So in recap, divide your megabits by eight to get how many megabytes you're moving per second, and then just divide your total by that amount. And just remember the relationships that a, a gigabyte is a thousand megabytes. So that's it.